Hello Geminis, this is your X reading for the 31st through February 6th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. It really helps your girl out, okay? Let's see what's currently going on for you guys here. King of Cups, I feel like you're trying to get your emotions in check. Um, I think that there's somebody that you're interested in, somebody that you want to be there for. Um, maybe somebody that you're considering um, committing to, okay? Whether it's your ex or someone else. I think you're very controlled. I think that, um, I think you guys are maybe kind of reminiscing about some things here. Scorpio energy there. Let's see what their current situation is here. Ace of Cups. Hmm. I think this person is working on themselves, but I think they're also, um, this, this person is very emotional and I feel like they are the type of person that, um, they like people. Um, they like being around people. Not that they need attention, but I feel like they see the good, um, in people before they, they see anything else. Like when they meet people, they, they just automatically assume that, you know, everybody has good intentions until they see differently. Okay. This, this person. Let's see how you view your ex. Again, Scorpio energy. Okay. How you view your ex here. Page of Pentacles. You feel like they're doing, there's something that they've just started. And I feel like um, you guys think they're on this quest to make money is what I'm getting here. Um, that they're working, that there's something new that they started doing, that they are not focused on like relationships and love at this point, that they're focused on other things in their life that could bring them um, a financial gain here. Okay. And I think you're attracted to that, actually. Let's see what your ex's perception of you is. Oh, okay. We have several cards I flipped over here. We'll look at them and put them back. We have five. Um, they feel like you guys are working. Um, they feel like you're really concentrating on that. Maybe they feel like you're out dating, taking people out to eat, um, going, going out traveling, but they feel like that you guys are probably in a tough spot. Maybe this person is very um, intuitive, maybe psychic even, but they feel like you guys are going through something right now, like an awakening is what they're feeling, okay? And they feel like you're trying to avoid that by working, concentrating on other th things, um, traveling, um, just having your focus on doing other things here okay they feel like maybe you want to offer something to them maybe they feel like you guys want to go forward with them but they feel like you're not all in here because this queen of cups has her face turned one way and extended the cup the opposite direction like they feel like you're not completely um willing to give your emotions to this situation possibly okay so we're gonna put those cards back and we're gonna go ahead and um pull one card for how they feel how do they perceive you nine of cups they perceive you as somebody that is possibly um you know going out drinking having a good time they feel like you're hiding behind that like it's a false um like it's a mask like you guys are out pretending that you're happy when you're really not um that Maybe you guys are overindulging in things, entertaining people even here, okay? They may also feel like you guys are trying to um, swoon somebody into a connection, um, into a relationship here. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. I think there's something that you're thinking about right now. You're contemplating it. Um, you're trying to figure out... You know, if this is somebody that you can move forward with, if you can, you know, be in a relationship with, like, is this a person for you? 
I think there's lots of things that you're exploring right now. Um, you know, things that happened in the past. But I think right now you're trying to figure out, you know, how you move forward. Who do you move forward with, if anybody? Because you do have the Nine of Cups here. And I feel like you guys are happy. Um, but I do feel like you're looking for something else at this point. Your life partner is what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see what their feelings are about getting back together. Three of Cups. I think this person is definitely open to getting back together. Um, I think they, you know, they feel like you guys have had good times together, that you are a happy person. Um, I think they can talk to you. You guys have had a really good conversation. It's like, yeah, I, I, I really, I feel like this person would definitely be open to reuniting here. Let's see what you guys can do to speed this up. Eight of Cups. Maybe it's to really consider whether or not this would be a, you know, a relationship that is fulfilling for you. Okay. Um, if you can really like be grounded, stable there. Do you really want to go back? Should you go back? So I really think that that's what you need to figure out here with um, with the hermit. Like, did you leave for the right reasons? Were they legitimate? Or did you leave prematurely? You know, it's, it's to figure out how you truly feel about this person. And if you truly feel that this is the person for you, then it's for you to go back. Okay. Is to go back and offer those emotions. Let's see how can they increase the chances of you guys getting back together here. Hmm. Be emotionally stable. Um, maybe this person was um, inconfident. Maybe before this person, because I see that they're like overly emotional. You know, and they may feel so passionately about something and they may have the tendency to overreact. So I think it's for them to to embody more of their masculine energy, I feel, and um, and have more control of themselves here. Be more confident. Is what I'm getting. OK. Now, this may be a same-sex relationship. This doesn't have to be, but we have two kings here. So you guys are kind of feeling the same way is what I'm getting currently. Let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys here. The emperor. I think for this upcoming week, um, both of you are, you know, just really, both of you are very confident in standing in your power. Um, I feel that neither one of you is going to make a move. Okay. Um, I think more so you guys are just concentrating on yourselves and what it is that you really want as far as um, you know, a life partner as far as how you want to interact with people, how you want people to interact with you. Um, and I feel like both of you guys are waiting on each other to make a move because right now, neither one of you is, you know, making any moves towards the other one. Okay. We have Aries energy here, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo energy is here as well. And, um, yeah. So both of you are at, you're at a cellmate right now, all right? But I think it's more so on my Gemini's whether or not, um, whether or not, you know, you guys can talk this out and make this happen because I feel like you guys are the one that walked away, especially if this is you at the top, okay? But the energy can go vice versa, okay? So that's what I have for you, my Gemini's, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.